Hello everyone, this is Ishwar Dhyal Mahato and today I am going to show you how you can make a mindset screw in NX software. So let us get started. Go for insert, sketch in dots environment, select this plane, click OK and take a rectangle, center rectangle. One more rectangle. Okay, go for symmetric. This line, this line, about this line, and select this as a center line, and this and this about this. Now again, this, this about this again select this one line two line and this is a center line now provide the rapid dimensioning let us take that 20 this one has 100 Also 20 and this one is 100. Click OK. Our sketch is fully constrained. Go for trim, trim this interior parts and go for finish sketch. Now again go for sketch in task environment. Select this plane and click OK. We have to draw one guide curve here. So make one line. This is vertical and give its dimension 200. Click OK. Now again go for line. Select this middle portion. Make it vertical and convert this to reference. Now again this select this edge and draw one more line. Provide right, its rapid dimension. The angle between them is 13.5 degree. Now finish this is sketch. Now go for insert, sweep, swept. Now select this curve. Select this guide curve. Before that, it should be on default condition. Now select the guide curve. So this is a normally sweep option. Now we will change this. So for here, go angular law, and it should be zero to 360 degree. And here in a scaling, it should be another curve, and select this curve. So as you can see, we have swept it, this profile along the guide curve which having some angle. Now select this line and make edit all the sketches. Now we have to apply the variable fillet for select this edge since it is not highlighting then go for again swept option and check this pressure curve so that the edges can be highlighted now go for edge plane select this edge select this specify new location and select point click ok again select and cancel it Select this endpoint. So we have and here change this through point and make it 10. And in second, make it also through point and provide this radius 15. Apply OK. 
so through that we can apply variable fillet to that again i am showing you select this h a specify new location select this point click ok and again specify new location cancel it and select this end point here should be 10 and here should be 0 point here should be 50 and for here it should be 10 and here the option will be 0 point click ok so we have to change this oh it's already selected this portion that's why it's not taking please cancel it go for again select this edge basically specify this now point click ok again specify new location cancel it and select this point and here it should be 10 Here should be through points and for this here should be 15 and here the option will be through point click ok we have applied variable fillet to that we have to again apply for two times so select this edge select this space final location select this point click ok again space final location cancel this and select this end point now go for this option, S would be through point and should be 10. Here it will be 15. S would be point through, S would be 15. Apply this. Again. We have to apply one more time. Select this edge, select a space by new point, select this point. Click OK and again specify new point. Cancel this and select this end point here. It should be 10 through arc point. Sorry, through points. Select this point. It should be 15 and it should be through point. Click apply. So we have been applied a variable fillet to that. Now again, go for space in task compartment. Select this space, click OK, and press Control P. Sorry, only P for drop polygon. So number of sides should be six, and so just click the starting point. 
click ok go for geometry plus 10 to make it vertical and the dimension between here to here should be Now finish the sketch, go for extrude this profile up to 50 and unite. Now again go for a sketch in task department, select this face, click OK. sketch go for extrude select the reverse direction make it 45 subtract it select body this is our body now select now go for a sketch in task environment, select this place, click OK, draw one circle, take 30, finish the sketch and extrude this profile up to 50 now we have to apply a simple hole here to so select this face click ok so here is our point make it constant on curve select this point and this axis now again go for point on curve select this axis and this point this point so this case is our fully constraint this so we have up to depth 37.5 diameter will be 20 take angle will be 118 subtract material click apply if you want to see it either it is not a b bottom b bottom or flat bottom for that go for edit section and change this plane and you can see here it is v bottom that means okay so we are almost done guys if you want to add material sorry add material let's go for true rendering and for this you can render this and change its also color yes sir